Hi, this is Ron Tube. Today on Way of the Hunter, we're going to be taking a look at some of the missions in the game. So I'm just going to warn you now, it might be a spoiler, so you can watch or you don't have to. Just what I tell you. Also, later on in the video, I'm going to show you something which has gobsmacked me. I've never seen it in any hunting game. It's kind of amusing and an interesting take on hunting games and what you can do in uh, game mechanics. But it really did make me chuckle. But yeah, we're doing a mission. As you can see, I've explored a little bit more. Been going around the map. I can't believe it's massive. It, it, to say it's big is an understatement. It really is big. So I had a journey up the uh, north sort of way and down the bottom end of the map. Now, the, one of the reasons I'm doing missions is because of the money. Uh, you get money from completing missions. So I've done a couple already and uh, I'm doing one in a minute. Also, I have just unlocked these two perks, right? Eagle Eye. Now this one makes your Hunter Sense work at 10% greater distance. And that's one of the first ones you unlock. And then this is the second one, Walk and Sense. This means you can do the Hunter Sense when walking and crouching. Now when you first start, obviously, um, it takes a little bit of while to get used to that. But it really does help now I'm just gonna explain to you this for a while you are gonna struggle hunting while you're learning the game that's just part and parcel of this game it's a simulator so just like then I've just moved a little bit spook those so any running messing about you are gonna scare animals quite easy and the tracking is quite hard and like I say I'm just gonna try this out now I've just unlocked those perks and um, the second one especially so I'm just going to see how it helps at finding animals for tracking and just tracking them down after I've shot them as well. That's what I was struggling with. Not going to lie, yesterday I was over here, I shot a mule deer and I tracked it for over an hour. The blood, everything, still couldn't find it. So it can be hard, right? So I'm just letting you know that. But a lot of people do like that. They like a challenge and it's more realistic. So this is where we've got to go and find Hollywood. Now Hollywood... I've missed some of this out because I don't want to spoil it all, but um, yeah, it's very detailed, these missions and this sort of like a, a full video build up and everything, so yeah, very interesting, very detailed, but I'm mainly doing it for the money, because yesterday, right, uh, while I was exploring, I found elk for the first time, and I also found moose, so Ron needs the big guns, <laughs> so I need to get my cash up and go then I can go buy a good big gun and then go hunt the big stuff. And I know a lot of you want to see that. But uh, yeah, I found him yesterday. I um, found three or four moose. Uh, there's like females and then a nice ball with them. So I'll be going back to that location soon. And also Roosevelt Elk. I found a big group of females with a medium sized ball. So we'll be exploring elk and moose once we get the big guns. But we've got to get our money up first. It takes a little while. Um, what, what I do first and what I've been trying to work out how to get money the best way um, is shoot small stuff and just get as many of them as possible and a good reason to do that is you unlock the perks quite quick as well which do help and that's the thing just remember it's progression so you're going to start off as a new player don't get upset if you're struggling a little bit it is quite hard to start off with but the more you play the better it is and that's where the real beauty of it is long term. The progression will keep you playing for a long time and each time you rock some it, it gets better and better. Now you might be wondering why I'm running and I said about how sweet animals are and that because I know basically roughly where he is. It's a mule deer with an abnormal antler. Maybe that means we've got non-typicals, I'm not sure about that. I wanted to ask someone earlier but it's the weekend so they're not working. Uh, so I couldn't find that, but maybe there is non-typical uh, typical antlers, it would be cool if there is, and we'll maybe find that out soon. Um, but this one is an abnormal antlered mule deer. Now, I don't know if you remember, but I showed you in the trophy lodge, was it the first video? Um, there is one already in there, and basically, that's the father of the one we're hunting. So we're trying to get both of them, uh, and it's called Hollywood, that's why I nicknamed it. 
I'm not going to ruin the story completely. I'm just, like I said, I'm just hunting this one today because I want to see this abnormal antler, uh, see how cool it is. So, on the right there, there's a stand that's really good. Uh, there's quite a lot of deer over there. But uh, last time I came over here, there was a group on the left, but they do move around depending on the day, time of day. And uh, I've come at six, in between six and nine, you come to this area and there should be a mule deer roaming around. Now, as I was saying, when you first start off, it's only when you like you stop, your hunter sensors sort of show up. But as you unlock the perks, like the one I've just unlocked, I can do it while I'm walking as well. So it, it does really help. But yeah, it can be hard tracking animals. So taking those shots, make sure you hit them in the vitals or a really clean shot. Because you can be tracking, I've tracked animals already 40 minutes, 50 minutes, an hour and not found some of them and that's what I thought was really clean shots so I'm just being honest with you letting you know so you know what to expect but like we say it's a hunting simulator so you know what to expect so the big guns I'm looking at like the 300 Win Mag and um, the 338 Lapoa Mag oh my I can't wait to try those out but uh, they like five and six grand and <laughs> I only got like two and a half grand and then I'm going to need a better scope so I've got to kill quite a few animals yet do some missions uh, to get that cash up but I do want to hunt the moose in the reservoir elk the elk looked amazing where I found them as well it, it just looks so natural and just like how you'd expect them to be in real life sort of be and uh, yeah I did spook a group at first and I was like trying to get a vantage point on them, lost them and then I went up like a mountain, I thought I'll use the height, go up here, have a look down in the valley and I found like a beautiful like plained area uh, where there was all feeding and there's quite a few animals there. Um, I found a massive pheasant as well, that's just reminding me, we'll have to go and get him at some point with a shotgun but uh, at five stars, he's a five star pheasant so he's definitely a trophy pheasant so uh, we'll go for him and the elk at some point soon but uh, it's nice exploring but uh, you do sink a lot of time and y yesterday i was playing for quite a few hours and uh, it's, it is a big time sink but i am enjoying it it's nice to have different games i was saying this earlier right in the last 15 years that's how long I've been playing hunting games. Literally every day I've been playing Hunt the Classic, 14 years near near on. Uh, but in the last 15 years, I'd say there's been two proper hunting games. And that's no disrespect to any other games. But what I class myself, what I actually like myself, there's been two. That's how uncommon it is to get a really good hunting game. And I think we've just got the third now. So that's how highly I rate this at the minute. And uh, it'll be even, be even more better once I've blocked some more stuff, learnt more things. And uh, that's how you can tell a good game. I think there is some things it could do with being tweaked. But um, overall, it's a really good game. And uh, the more I play it, um, I'll probably do a review in maybe a week's time or something, do you know what I mean? I don't want to be one of those people who gets it day one. Right, I'm going to review the game, because you can't review a game in a day like this. Do you know what I mean? Some people will, they'll just stick them out. But they haven't even played the game. You can't learn hardly anything in, in this game in a, in a day. Do you know what I mean? You've got to put time into it. And uh, that's what I'm finding out myself. So, to do an honest review of the game, you're going to have to play it for a week or something. And then like look at it and then see what you think. And uh, that's what I'll do, to be honest. Not just going to rush one out for the views um, I just want to be honest with you about that so the mule deer should be around here I'm finding tracks this is where he was feeding last time I seen them so they do wander around if you actually watch them I'll try and find them first <laughs> but they don't just stand still they'll eat and if anyone knows this in real life herd animals anything eating vegetation whether it's farm animals wild animals they don't generally sit still they'll because they're moving because they always keep an eye out and they do that in this so you might see them like uh, eat a load of patch down there and then they'll be like oh we've had enough here we'll move on a bit and they're always on the move so you just got to keep an eye out for that 
another stand. See, this is what I mean. It's not simple. It's not just go there and it's there. They was here last time. And I know they're here somewhere, but I don't know if they've gone in the tree line. I've already spooked them. I shouldn't have spooked them, really. So, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm trying to get a better rifle scope because I've got a pretty basic one at the minute and then I want one of the big guns next. That's what I'm uh, trying to decide, whether it's going to be the 300 Win Mag or the 338. Um, it just depends what the, um, the bigger animals are better with. See, I'm not sure if you can use a 3-3 on the elk or not on a moose. I think it should be alright with moose. I'm not sure about the elk. Is that him? So they're over there this time. Or oh, that might be a different group. There was quite a few different groups up here. I'm just going to go above them and uh, just check. Female. I think the females... Let me rifle up and uh, check with this. It can pop up from anywhere. That one's had its head down eating, I'm just making sure. So I don't think he's actually there. It's got to be a somewhere. Like I say, there is quite a few groups up this area. When I first come and checked out, found the uh, two hunting stands up this way. I've seen probably five or six groups. But he is not with them. So where is he? Come on, Hollywood. Where you gone? Right. Oh, there's something there. What's that? Now, we've got a couple over this way. Hopefully, we can make it down. There's sort of like a basin down here and another stand at the back on the right. Oh my, I've spooked. There's no way I've just spooked them. They're 200 odd metres away. I'm crouching as well. I only looked away for a split second. Have they gone into the tree line or have they come down the hill? I think Ron's going crazy. I've <laughs> seen some deers there. you seen them, I know you did. <laughs> Where are they going? As I said, you've got to keep your... Be on the ball. Keep your eye on the uh, target here. But I just seen some deers there. Where have they gone then? What? <laughs> Got magic deers, I think. That's either perfect timing, and they've just trotted into bushes, or they've just gone somewhere. I have no idea. That's just that's just baffled me. And this Mr. Hollywood's not here either. They're off. They're travelling. He's not over there with them. So where is he? We did have... I've seen at least two days there on the left then. And I have no idea where they've gone. It's either, the, like I say, split timing or they've gone into that tree line. Where is he? I just don't know what to say. <laughs> I definitely need my hunter sensors, I can't see him. What? He's here! <laughs> Oi! I'll come for you. There he is. That's got to be good, surely. I like the animations um, when they run in, they're wounded and stuff, and they do little death animations, I think, as well. But as you can see, that is what we're after. He must have just been either sitting in the bottom of that gully in bushes or maybe resting in there and I just couldn't see him, I don't know. But where those others went, I have no idea. I think he's done. If he is, that's a mission over. But I'm not totally sure. I don't know if they can attack when wounded or... Do you know what I mean? It's a new game. interesting to see I think he is down so let's run over you shouldn't ever do this really in real life because people get gored if animals are wounded but I think he's dead and just to go to show he isn't he's off again so I think he was just resting he's rightly wounded but yeah you normally wait 
But I think he's down now. I think he's just trying to get some cover. Not not worked out like what's going off. But I think we've got him now. He was resting in this bush. But yeah, you should never really run after an animal. So it just goes to show you, very realistic. Let's go over and collect him. He was resting inside this water in the uh, bush. So, that should be Harvest Hollywood, the mule deer. And then what we have to do is, we've got to taxidermise him with his dad, which is in the uh, hunting lodge. Yeah, he's down. I'll just get him a gun out, just in case. So here we go. Hollywood, the mule deer, with an abnormal antler. I wonder if there's non-typicals. I really want to know now if there's non-typicals in Way the Hunter. That would be so cool. But let's have a look at him. So it wasn't even a good shot either. Look. That's why he's wounded. And that's why he got up and ran again. But then again. You've seen what happened. I didn't edit it enough. When he come out of nowhere. So I, I should have dropped him I think there. But it was a bit of a surprise. Like I say. Those other two really threw me. I think he was with two females or something. But uh, let's have a look. But there you can see, look, there's an abnormal antler. Now we will get, what is it, 483 for selling him, but we've got a taxidermise him for the mission. His trophy rating is only two, so he's not a big trophy, but he's part of a story, uh, which I'm not going to explain. But uh, you can do that yourself. But we're on 2,700 now. We need to get about double that, at least. So we've got to hunt some more animals yet. But we will uh, taxidermise him. There we go, mission over. Now we've re got to return to the lodge. Got an achievement on Steam. Like father, like son. So as you can see, I'm starting to unlock the map now. Let's go back to Beard Den Ranch. Fast trouble there. And let's have a look how we're going to taxi demise him. And uh, just finally complete this mission. So in we go. But yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm loving the different pace from, say, like playing Cordoward, the Hunter Classic. It's sort of similar. Um, anyone that's played Classic, like me, or played it a long time, you know that you're going to sink a lot of time into it. Um, and it's just the same for this. So I think a lot of Hunter Classic players are like this, especially. So... There we go. Now that's Hollywood's father. How do we make this multi man? This is the first time I've ever done it. So we have to select a slot and then stick him in it. So as you can see, they've both got the same abnormal antler on both sides. Like father, like son. It makes sense now. So we taxidermise him. Because he's part of the mission, you don't have to pay for it either. But you've got a cool little story multi man in your tree for lodge. There's some of the other ones you can add for the dioramas. I'm just seeing if you can change position or... I'm not sure if you can rotate it or anything. I think it's just fixed, to be honest. Just seeing if you can swap things around. If you can, I don't know how to do it. But I don't think you can change the uh, position. I think it's sort of like a fixed position. One thing I'm going to talk about as well, but I'll explain that in another video and we'll have a look at it, is there is a photo mode. So, like now, you can go into photo mode, move the player, there's so many options, you can change colours, tints, uh, field of view, all sorts. It's very good and uh, very handy. And as you play more and unlock certain things, you can get it even better. So it gets better and better as you unlock it. So what I'm going to do is fast forward the time, try and get better lighting. As, and uh, like I was saying, I'll, I'll talk about the uh, photo mode in an in-depth video on it. But uh, it's really good. And uh, great for taking uh, screenshots or for me, like doing thumbnails and stuff. It really helps. So let's switch the light on. So that you can see, I really do like the furs, the antler colours especially, look really nice. There you go. Hollywood and his dad look cool but it does lead me to think 
maybe there is non-tips in here. I don't know for sure. I really hope there is non-typicals in here. And if there isn't, I'd like them to be added um, further down the road. It would be cool. A lot of people do like them. But there you go. There's the multi man, and that's that mission over. So on to the next thing. Now this, I could not believe it. I did it by accident yesterday, but I'm just going to show you sort of on purpose today. But um, I cannot believe this. Now I'm out driving my Jeep, exploring, and I've never seen this in any other hunting game before. If it is, let me know in the comments which had it before. But when you're driving about, sometimes you're obviously going to spook animals. You will spook them quite a lot, and they'll be running about. But imagine you come out the forest from like a weird angle or something, or across a road, and a group runs across you. Now, if you hit one, in most other games, it doesn't matter. You don't either kill him or whatever. In this, if you run over them, you run over them. You'll hear it. Uh, get ready and see what happens. No, sorry. <laughs> you are for educational purposes. No animals are hurt in real life. <laughs> but, yeah, if you come across something and run across it by accident. Sorry, Mr. Badger. The badger is loved by so many. <laughs> oh, I didn't want to do it, but I wanted to show you. It. And look, if you do do it, there is actually hunter rating, wasted roadkill look trophy rating it, it destroys it but it just says wasted and uh, you can still at least sell it i suppose but uh, accidents do happen and i just wanted to show you this i thought it's kind of funny in a way but some people are like what <laughs> but i just thought i'd show you it's a different game mechanic for hunted games i've never seen it before and it did really surprise me uh, i did it on a white tail deer by accident um, i was shooting them and then i spooked one and uh, I was driving to another place and a group ran out and I hit one by accident. What's this? And we've run over a fox. To be honest, I don't like foxes much anyway, so. <laughs> but yeah, I just thought I'd show you that. So I'm Ron McTube. We've been playing Way the Hunter, taking a look at the missions, some of the perks I've unlocked, and this interesting uh, roadkill mechanic in Way the Hunter. Let me know what you think, drop it in the comments. I'm on YouTube. Plenty more videos coming for Way of the Hunter. Get ready for the next one. Please subscribe to my YouTube channels and thanks for watching. Bye bye.